everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So in this video I'm going to be trying out the F350 blow dryer that people have been raving about, comparing it like to the Dyson. I'm going to be comparing it to the Revlon One Step blow dryer. So if you want to see my full review on this, then please keep watching. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like right when I get out of the shower. So I have naturally curly kind of frizzy hair. Uh, right now it's, I towel drying it for about 20 minutes, just wrapped it up in the towel. Um, it's still a little wet on top. Um, it's starting to get dry towards the ends. So I wanna see how this blow dryer is going to work. Okay, so this is what it came with. So again, this is the F350 hair dryer. It looks very similar to the Dyson. Um, this is the box it came in and this is what it looks like. So it has the off button, cool, hot, hotter, and has the fan button right here. So it's a little heavy. I would say it's a little heavier than the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer, um, but it's not long. So it's not like awkward to hold. I like how it's like short and compact like this. And it also comes with three nozzles like this. So this is for like diffusing for your hair. Like if you have curly hair, you just hook it on and go like this. Um, I used to use that all the time when my hair was like super duper curly. And then it comes with these two nozzles as well. This is just so it like smooths your hair and really just doesn't let it go like all over all over the place, it kind of like concentrates it on one area. But the main reason I wanted to get this blow dryer is because I wanted to dry my top of the head before I like go to the bottom with the Revlon. This video, I'm only gonna be doing this blow dryer because I've been finding that the Revlon is taking a little longer to blow dry my hair. And it's also kind of ripping out my hair. I think maybe, maybe it's just me, or maybe it is a blow dryer that didn't really happen with that blow dryer. So maybe it's just, my hair, I'm not sure. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work. So I'm just gonna turn it on for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. And that's like level one. And that's like a little hotter. So that's what it sounds like. Um, I may do a voiceover when I do this, just obviously so you can like hear what I do. Um, but I'm going to lock, oops, other side, lock it in with this nozzle right here. So it locks in just like that. But first, I'm going to prep my hair. Oh wait, I also want to talk about the brush that I got. So this was recommended on Amazon to get along with the blow dryer. So this is the um, Amiki Nanotech Bro hairbrush. Um, this is basically just your typical round brush. It has the hard bristles with the soft bristles right here. It has like a grip on the bottom and it's a big brush and I like big brush so you can get big hair and get a lot of hair as well. Um, so this is the brush. I will link all of this on, in the bottom bar below. So again, this is nanotechnology ceramic and ionic brush. Okay, so first I'm going to brush my hair. I don't like to brush my hair right when I get out of the shower because it's like soaking wet and you tend to rip out a lot of hair. So I'm going to brush my hair right now using the wet brush. Um, I like to start on the bottom and brushing my hair like this because um, you don't wanna like start here and then like rip the rest of your hair out. So I just like to go from the bottom. I like to hold it like this so I'm not hurting my head and just go from bottom and then just slowly work my way up. So you can see my hair is pretty much like, I would say 80% dry, which is when I like to go in with heat because A, you're using less heat and it's quicker to do. So that's why I like air drying my hair, rather than in a towel for a couple minutes. So see now it's like smooth to go in. I'm just gonna continue with the rest of my hair brushing it. Okay, so my hair is all brushed out. Every time I brush it, I feel like it gets a little heavier and you can like really feel the wetness. So again, on top, it's pretty wet and the bottom, it's like pretty much dry. Um, oh, pretty. So the next product I'm gonna go in, um, I've never used these before. So again, this is gonna be like a whole review type of video, uh, blow dryer brush and products. 
So I saw another girl on YouTube use this and she had like bomb hair. So I'm like, okay, if she's using it, I'm definitely gonna use it. Um, and she swore that by this and a lot of people did as well. So this is the R&CO, R&Co, High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. Um, so you can put this in your hair and just, you know, let it air dry and your natural kind of curls come out, natural hair wave comes out. But this helps with the shine and frizz and smooths your hair. So I'm just going to use like a dime size amount. I feel like with every product, a little goes a long way. Just like that. I'm all throughout my hair. It smells really good. It smells like a hair salon. Hair salon product. So I'm just gonna put that on the bottom, and then whatever's remaining, I'm just going to put on top and run through my hair. And I don't really like to put just a amount on top because I feel like it just makes your hair greasy. Oh, and I forgot to mention the product of the hair dryer also comes with these clips right here, which is awesome um, for blow drying your hair. But I just tend to use um, like a little claw clip. Claw clip I use. But this is good to like, if you have bangs, to clip back your bangs. So you can do that. Okay, the next product I'm going in is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. So this is a heat protectant as well, which is so important. And this pretty, this says uh, dramatically reduces blow dry time by up to 50% and provides intense heat protection from damage and breakage. So I'm all about that if I can cut the blow dry time and heat in general on my head, then I'm all about that. So I'm just gonna again use this like from here down because a lot of people say a little goes a long way. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, and I feel like kind of instantly smooth my hair, which is nice. All right, so that's all I'm using. Um, kind of feels silky on my hands right now. So I'm just gonna run that through like the silkiness on my head. Just to get so I tend to frizz a lot around my hairline right here. So I'm just gonna kind of rub that in, not too much whatever is left again. Alright, so that's all the product I'm gonna use. I know you've seen my past video, the Olaplex video. I'm still like a diehard fan of Olaplex, but I just want to switch it up. Um I'm waiting for my new Olaplex products to come in, so I'm like, why not use something new to try it out? In the meantime, um, cause I don't want my hair getting like so used to one product. I kind of like switching it up. So that's why I wanted to use these two to kind of give it a try. And I haven't used a regular blow dryer in I would say like three years. I've been using the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer, which again, I absolutely love, but just want to try something different. Um, so curious to try this. I'm gonna actually take this nozzle off and just give it a quick dry all over, especially focusing on the top of my head. Okay, so that is done. I feel like it kind of made my hair a little frizzy, but all right, let's trust the process. Um, so now I'm going to part my hair. Just put my hair up. My arms hurt already. Oh, it's exhausting, okay. So here we go. Highest heat setting. I forgot to put the nozzle on. Oh my god, I'm a hot mess today. And that nozzle just fell off. What the hell? It was locked in. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. It locks that way, but it's like sideways. Okay, whatever. It really even dry it that well. Like it's look kind of wet. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's still a little wet in the root. I have to go back, but my hair is smooth. Um. So far I'm giving like a six out of 10, just from the bottom. But I also haven't, again, used a round brush and a regular blow dryer in like three years, so my technique is definitely off. And I'm just so used to the Revlon where you just like one hand and go like this and it like flips your hair and everything. So let's just continue and see how it does. Oh God, I'm sweating. 
Okay, so that's pretty much dry on the bottom. This is what it looks like. So, all right, not bad. It definitely is very smooth, but I think that has a lot to do with the products that I just put in, not the blow dryer itself. So I always put my hair in a ponytail um, before I go to the next section because I just don't like mixing up the sections. Um, it's a loose pony, it's not gonna dent my hair personally. Um, I just think it's a lot easier to do my hair like this. So next I'm just going, this is like the second section of the third section, so going to part that and I have about this much hair to do in the middle section. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did like the bottom. Okay, so it is pretty quick um, to blow dry and I think also has a lot to do with this because it cuts, like I said, the drying time like 50%. Um, but I'm gonna just switch the nozzle quick. This is the styling nozzle that I'm using. Can you see that with like the ripples right there? Ow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the smoothing tool one. This is like has some brush bristles at the end. Just wanna see how it works quick. Smooth out my hair. Okay, so I did like the smoothing when I did it with the brush. This side I just did with the like smoothing tool alone, and then this side, like you saw, I did it with the brush. I definitely do feel like it smoothed it a lot, um, which is nice. My hair is pretty much, yeah, it's all dry. So, so far, I will say from the Revlon to this, this is a lot i would say my hair dries faster with this again i haven't used this product with the revlon once a blow dryer so um i do have to kind of test it out with that to really give it like my honest opinion but so far uh, it's very smooth and let's continue with the top to see how the rest is this is the top of my hair now so I'm, i feel like i'm always usually pretty careful with the top i'm gonna start with left side my hair smells really good for those products so that's a plus i'm gonna save my bangs for last so i'm gonna just kind of start from the back and work my way forward okay so this side again saving my bangs for last so they're a little like bushy right now um, but that took like two seconds to dry and it's very smooth. That's without the smoothing tool. So let me just do the other side. They'll go in with the bangs, the smoothing tool, and then we'll go from there. Go in and do my bangs. Okay, so that were my bangs. I'm just gonna go in with the smoothing tool because I am kind of curious to see how that's gonna work. Again, with the top of my head. Take out the rest of my hair. All right, so it's pretty much dry. Yeah, it's all dry now. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. It's not as straight as what it would be with the Revlon. I feel like it's a bit more poofy, um, especially this side. I could go in the smoothing tool a little more. It definitely is a lot softer, I will say that um, again probably because of the products. All right, so I do see some, you can see that some frizz on top. Again, I think it's because of my technique with the blow dryer and the brush. I haven't used it in a while, but so far, I mean, it looks good. I like it. Okay, so I do like it. I think I would give it like, an eight out of 10. Um, I don't think I'm going to stop using my Revlon One Step Blow Dryer though, just because it is so quick and easy. But like I said in the beginning of the video, for some reason the Revlon has been pulling out my hair. I don't know, I think it's maybe just because of my hair. Maybe my body's going through something, I don't know. But um, it was kind of like, I, I clean it out all the time, the Revlon, but the hair is like getting caught in it a lot. So I feel like it wasn't really getting hot. It's my second Revlon, or once up Revlon blow dryer, so I feel like you kind of have to change it out like once a year, which kind of stinks. Um, but again, I just want to try a regular blow dryer because I haven't used it in so long, and so many people have been raving about this, and they compared it like to the Dyson. 
Um, it is strong and there's a cool setting which is nice and it comes with the different nozzles, the smoothing nozzle, the styling nozzle and the diffuser and it's pretty lightweight. Alright, so I actually did just go in off camera with the um, cooling setting which I think helps a lot like with the frizz. So I mean that's that's always nice. Um, so again, the cooling setting is a good feature. Um, but yeah, again, I would give this like ooh, like an eight out of ten. So this products beforehand I absolutely love, and the brush I absolutely love, and I like how the blow dryer came with these clips right here. So I will do like an updated video in a couple of weeks. I'll go in and use it again. Hopefully my brushing technique is a little better. Um, but I do like it for the beginning of my wet stages of my hair, like just to take the nozzle off and just go in and get like the top of my head because I think that's why the Revlon is taking so long because my hair has gotten longer and it's like more wet and heavy. So I think I'm going to go in with this before I use a Revlon just to get it a quick dry and then go in with that. But um, I'm glad I tried this. And if you tried it too, then let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, so yeah, that does it for this video. I hope you guys liked the review. Um, if you like these types of videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification button. And yeah, that does it for today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.